Who are you going to be? And if you'll notice, I'm not asking what are you going to do, but who are you going to be? I'm asking you about how you plan to live your life every day. How are you going to respond when you don't get that job you had your heart set on? For all of you who are going to be teachers, what are you going to do if the students in your class next year just don't respond to your lessons? For all of you going into business, how will you react when your boss gives you a goal that feels way too high? See, these are the moments that define us. Not the day you get the promotion, not the day you win Teacher of the Year, but the times that force you to claw and scratch and fight just to get through the day. The moments when you get knocked down and you're wondering whether it's even worth it to get back up. See, those are the times when you've got to ask yourself, who am I going to be? And I want to be clear, this isn't just some vague hey. platitude about building character. <laughs> In years, yes, ma'am. What she said, Gigi? Like, no. Just Mama say hey to the blog. Tell her hey, Mama. Uh-uh, no. We're high on things like grit and determination. We're more likely to complete basic training than those who ranked high on things like class rank, SAT scores, and physical fitness. So what we're seeing is that if you're willing to dig deep, if you're willing to pick yourself up when you fall, if you're willing to work and work until your weaknesses become your strengths, then you'll develop a set of skills that you can mold and apply to any situation you encounter. Any job you might have, any crisis you might confront, but you've got to make that choice. And let me just share just a little Before I end, as someone who has hired and managed hundreds of young people over the course of my career, whether it was during my time as a lawyer, as an administrator, as a university, a nonprofit manager, even now as first lady, I have never once asked someone I was interviewing to explain a test score or a grade in a class. Never. I have never once made a hire just because someone went to an Ivy League school instead of a state school, never. What I have looked for is what kind of person you are. Are you a hard worker? Are you reliable? Are you open to other viewpoints? Have you stepped outside of your own self-interest to serve others? Have you found a way to serve our country, whether in uniform or in your community? Again. Jordan, uh, Japanese Cornfish, Jake. Uh, my name is Sasha and I go with Snail. Um, Maggie, <laughs> Jaquela, Jordan, is it Luke? Jake. Jake, Ryan. <laughs> he's Ryan. No, he's Ryan. I don't know where you got Evan from. His name? Okay. Griffin? Mm -hmm. Okay. I don't know. All I know is Ryan and Elephant. <laughs> you won't be successful because when you're studying and you get tired, you quit. And I'm here to tell you today, if you got a, somebody came to my office the other day crying, I said, look, don't cry to give up, cry to keep going. Don't cry to quit. You already in pain, you already hurt, get a reward from it. Don't go to sleep until you succeed. Listen to me. I'm here to tell you today that you can come here, you can jump up, you can do flips, you can be excited when we give away money, but listen to me, you'll never be successful until I don't have to give you a dime to do what you do. You won't be successful until you say, I don't need that money, because I got it in here. So if you want to make six figures, you can't just be talking about you want to make six figures. When you want to succeed, So if you click on the link, I want to see if I can actually pull it up. Yeah. So if you like pull up the link, it'll give you jobs for like students, so you can like. But you don't want it bad. You just kind of want it. You don't want it badder than you want to party. You don't want it as much as you want to be cool. You most of you don't want success as much as you want to sleep. Wrong. 
Some of you love sleep more than you love success. Like and I'm here to tell you that if you're going to be successful, you need to come out. I think it's your, your name. Well, I think like, it's your name. I could at least got a half a point for that. Two hours. If you really want to be successful, some days you're going to have to stay up three days in a row. Because if you go to sleep, you might miss the opportunity to be successful. That's how bad you got to want it. You got to go days without, listen to me, you got to want to be successful so bad that you forget to eat. So listen to me, Emmett Smith said this at the end of the commercial. Emmett Smith said, all men are created equal, some work harder in preseason. I'm going to say it again because you might have missed it. All men are created equal, some work harder in preseason. So that means that there are some people who are going to see the professor, going to see the TA, and even when the professor says, I don't meet with you, my TA meet with you, you say, I don't want to talk to your TA. I don't pay the TA. I pay you to teach me. So you're going to have to find some time to meet me. If I got to meet you at the mall, if I got to meet you at your house, you are going to see me. Listen to me, all men are created equal, some work hard in preseason. When I went to college, guys were way smarter than me. 4.0s, 3.0s, they went to the Ivy League high schools, came to Oakwood from these great high schools. Most of them are not doing what I'm doing. Why? Because it's not about where you come from. It's about heart. You come to a place where, you know, being smart ain't enough. You got to have heart. That's number one. Watch number two. Number two, catch number two. I wrote it down. I wanted to make sure you got it. It says, to be, watch this, watch this. We're talking about sacrifice now. The important thing is this. You're right in why I'm saying it, because I only have about three more minutes. Listen to me. The most important thing is this, to be able at any moment to sacrifice what you are for what you will become. That's the number two thing. You got to catch that one. To be able to, listen to me, at any moment, some of you, you can make sacrifices when Monday Night Football is not on. You can make a sacrifice, but when the game come on, for some reason, you just attach to it. For some of you, when your favorite show come on, you, you, can, be, you can make sacrifices on Sunday when they ain't nothing going on. Hey. But when your favorite show comes on Monday, man, some of you, you focus into the phone ring, and then you like, I gotta answer it. If I don't answer the phone, see, I'm gonna die. Hear me? Okay. I'm saying to you today that there are some of you, if you give up your- As well as in the outside of every building, these are safety precautions. So unless you're an RA or the person that like lives on this way, you wouldn't be able to access this. And it's just a way to like keep your items safe because we don't need Sarah coming down and trying to get. Oh. Don't worry, ladies. I'll show you the, I'll show you the cute one <laughs> after. I like the way it's set up. <laughs> My boss did. It is so cute. But anyways, this is the typical male. I'll say typical. This is like just showing you a way to set up these dorms. We also have, we're going to show you the girls' version of this. <coughs> you, this, this is an option right here to lock your bed. I think it's like $50, something like that. And maintenance will come do it for you. Mm -hmm. So some people like to do that. Um, that personally wasn't my thing. But for more. I'm going to go to my vlog. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I might cut that out. They are being now, but it's like a year old now, and I use it all the time in my building. So now you'll know as well if you're using this dryer. You just look for the one that says 59 minutes because I don't know if I count one, two, or one, two. So I would never use the counted part. But you just look for the one that's yours because my first time ever doing it. But, anyways, uh, so if your laptop is out of commission, you're getting fixed either with IT if they can or you know, somewhere else. <laughs> you have these computers, there is no password on there. There's not. And you go, baby. Yay, baby, we got Hey, you doing? How you doing? Hey, 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 you doing? Hey